welcome back to our video so today our video will be about our monthly expenses and our cost of living while in mexico so like many people the majority of our expenses go towards rent mm -hmm. and in the last video we told you how much we pay for rent which is 600 us dollars around that and that actually comes out to 12,000 pesos a month okay so on to our first utility and that is electricity so we put all of our bills here so it'll be much much easier for us to remember everything and so for electricity remember in the last video we talked about how electricity is paid every other month so we just count that as that one payment we don't really split it up into month one month two mm -hmm. and we got our first electricity bill and that's with leaving pretty much everything on the AC on during the day and the lights on at night if, if we need it. And that came out to 1,259 pesos, which is approximately 63 US dollars. And that is for two months. So on to the next utility, which is water. Now we haven't got a water bill yet, but the landlord was very helpful and he let us see some of the old bills from whenever he airbeat and beat it out. The water for the last couple months kind of hovered around 77 pesos, which when you convert that to US dollars is about $3. So about $3 every two months, it's super affordable. Okay, so onto the next utility is Wi-Fi, which is really important for us because we both work remotely. So it was really important that we have very strong Wi-Fi and our Wi-Fi is about 25 US dollars a month, which actually comes out to 497 pesos every month. Okay, so that is the end of our utilities. As far as like gas, maintenance, and the trash, it is included in our rent bill, so we don't have to pay separate bills for that. So that all is in the 600. All right, so our next expense will be our grocery list here. We shop at Walmart because that's like the most convenient store that we have. As of now, we've been making a list in our notes and saving like the prices that we pay um, just specifically for this video as well as to let us know like, oh, how much is that going to cost us when we go back to get it? Okay, so on an average week, we spend about $30. Um, that is 600 pesos. With that being said, it's actually really good because in the U.S. we would spend, what, $100 a week mm -hmm. on just groceries itself, whereas we're spending only 30 here, getting almost the same stuff that we would get in the U.S. Okay, so with being here, we actually get a better quality of food because it's more fresh. Like in the U.S., everything was frozen or processed. I'm not saying that it's not like that here, but it's fresher quality of food. Okay, so the last two expenses we have for the month is normally entertainment and transportation. Now, while these can fluctuate, we haven't gone over a certain number. So for entertainment, we normally stick to about 20 to $30 a week. Mm -hmm. So let's just say 30 at the highest. And for transportation, transportation would be if we're using Uber or more than likely DD, which is a car service like Uber here that's actually better because it actually pays the drivers more. We use DD when we're going to the store because we normally have the big water jugs and those are hard to carry. So when we use transportation, that's probably about $10 a month just because of how inexpensive the rides are. And we're only ever going about two to three miles at the most away. Mm -hmm. So it's very inexpensive. So there are a couple of expenses that we didn't include in this video just because it's not exactly expenses that we have here in Merida. So for instance, our phone bill, we are still with uh, T-Mobile, which is a US carrier. Mm -hmm. And because T-Mobile works in the US, Canada, and Mexico, we just thought it would be easier to stay with T-Mobile and then use WhatsApp if we needed to talk to anybody here in Mexico. So we didn't add that to our expenses. We didn't add small things like Netflix, Disney Plus, any subscription things we have because those are our personal preferences and we just wanted to do the bare bones minimum. As well as our storage, we did not include that because that was our preference. A lot of people, before they move to different countries, they try to sell everything they have, which is great for other people. But as for us, since we just got married, a lot of stuff that we had 
is something that we really wanted to keep. So what is our final total that we pay here per month? And so our final total is actually 838 US dollars, which comes out to approximately 16,750 pesos. Now, sometimes that can be a little bit more, but sometimes it's a little bit less as well too. So we can hover around there. So I would say if you were coming to live in Mexico, just as either one person or as a couple, I would try to budget about $1,000 per month, depending on the type of style that you wanna live. And there will be some things that we want to add in there, like a gym membership, maybe getting bikes while we're down here. So there'll be some other things that will definitely make our expenses go up. But right now for the bare bone minimum, we are under $900, which is amazing. So that is the end of our monthly expenses in Merida. Yes, so in the next couple of videos, we'll be talking more about some of the logistics of Merida, Mexico and how to move here and thrive here. But after we get through some of those, we're definitely gonna get into some more creative stuff uh, because we are creative people and definitely some tours of Mexico and other places in Mexico too because it is so easy to travel in Mexico. But just be on the lookout for those and we will see you in the next video. And like always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if there's anything that you would like to see us do or anything that you would like to see in Mexico, just leave a comment below and we'll try our best to get it done. Most definitely. All right, bye.